Hello, in this video we're going to go over a problem on complex numbers. The problem goes like this. Suppose z1 through z4 are four complex numbers satisfying these two conditions that the absolute value of zi's are all one and the sum of them is zero. And the question is asking us to show that they are either vertices of a rectangle or they are pairs of identical complex planes, uh, complex numbers. And this problem was suggested by a user named Math Enthusiast. Here is what we're going to do. We are going to think about this in the complex plane because of the fact that they told us they are vertices of a rectangle and also the condition that they gave us is absolute value is equal to 1. So how do we deal with that? So let's draw a diagram for this and then we'll see what that tells us. The condition that absolute values are 1 tells us that all of these points must be on the unit circle. The assumption that the sum is 0 means the sum of two of them is negative the sum of the other two. If you interpret that in the language of geometry, that means the midpoint of Z1, Z2, if you look at Z1 and Z2, the midpoint would have to be the same as the midpoint of negative Z3, negative Z4. So if you take negative Z3, negative Z4, the midpoint would have to be the same. At this, in this diagram, it doesn't look like the midpoints are the same. How do we justify that the midpoints are not the same? One property of the midpoint is that when you connect the midpoint with the center, which in this case is the origin, OM must be perpendicular to both Z1, Z2 and also to Z3, Z, negative Z3, negative Z4. But in this case, it doesn't look like it is because these two are intersecting lines. They cannot be perpendicular to the same line which means z1 must be the same as negative z4 and z2 must be the same as negative z3. And since that's the case, we can pretty much easily show that they are vertices of a rectangle. And the reason is if you look at z1 plus z4, I would get 0 and z2 plus z3, that would also give me 0. And if you look at that on the unit circle, you get Z1 is here, Z4 is the exact opposite, Z2 is somewhere here, and Z3 is the exact opposite. And that gives you, because this is the center, that gives you a rectangle. Because these angles are all 90 degrees. Okay, but they gave us another condition that they could be pairs of identical complex numbers. Well, that happens when these four points are not actually distinct. So if you look at Z1 and Z1, Z4 and Z2, Z3, I'm assuming that these are actually different chords. If they were the same chord, they would not form a rectangle. So how do we justify this? So let's get started with justification. So first thing is that Z1, Z2, Z3, Z4 cannot all be identical. Otherwise, you would have 4z1 equals 0, which means z1 is 0. And that's obviously a contradiction. So let's assume that z1 and z2 are not the same. So let's take the midpoint of z1, z2. z1 plus z2 is equal to negative z3 make negative z4 which means the midpoint I will call w of z1 z2 is the same as midpoint of negative z3 negative z4. Now this midpoint if it is not the origin if w isn't the origin then o w is perpendicular to both z1, z2 and negative z3, negative z4 which is a contradiction unless uh, the two segments z1, z2 and negative z3, negative z4 are the same. They are the same chord. So 
So in that case, we may assume that z1 is negative z3 and z2 is negative z4, which means z1 plus z3 is the same as z2 plus z4, and it is 0. Otherwise, if w is 0, then what we have is z1 plus z2 is equal to z3 plus z4, and they're both 0. So in both cases, we got the same thing. So in both cases, we may assume that z1 plus z2 is equal to z3 plus z4 is equal to 0 by symmetry. Okay, so now these four would be vertices of a rectangle if they are distinct. If z1, z2, z3, z4 are distinct, then they would form a rectangle because z1, z2 and z3, z4 are diameters of a circle. So if you look at the circle, the center z1, z2 and z3, z4 these angles are right angles. This angle is a right angle because it's opposite to z1, z2. This angle is also a right angle because it's opposite to z3, z4 and similarly these angles are all right angles which means that's a rectangle. If they're the same, if z1 is equal to let's say z3 then then you would have z2 equals z4 and that's what we wanted because we wanted to show either they are vertices of a, a rectangle or they are two pairs of identical complex numbers and that brings me to the end of this video if you enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe to the channel and if you have any suggested problems feel free to either put it in the comment or email it to me using my email address on my profile and I will see you in the next video.